the Philippine Islands sit on the Pacific Ring of Fire. Dotted with volcanoes that spill fertile ash into the soil, the land easily grows crops and flora that form the agricultural backbone of the country's economy and way of life. The Bicol region in the southeastern end of the island of Luzon is home to at least five active volcanoes, one of which is the perfect coned and world-admired geologic wonder, the Mayon Volcano. In recent years, the people of Bicol have rediscovered and revitalized another natural wonder, Meet the Pili, slowly making its way to the world's delighted palate. Bicol's rich volcanic soil and generous rainfall are the variables necessary for growing what is scientifically known as the Canarium ovatum. Filipinos call the tree pili. That the region is very prone to typhoons does not even pose a problem for pili farmers because the tree is known as a stress tree. That is, the more it is shaken and beaten by storms, the more it blooms and bears good fruit. Bicolano elder Jose Amador knows a tree well, a native of Sorsogon province, where piling is said to grow best. Jose has been a pili farmer long enough to know that the tree doesn't need much in order to grow. Ang kagandahan sa pili, kahit hindi mo intindihin, once nabuhay siya, bumubunga. Hindi naman ang kailangan na diligan mo, hindi naman kailangan na fertilizan mo. Kaminsan-minsan, pinupurlingan namin. Nowadays, Jose reaps the fruits of investing in Pili, literally and figuratively. It is Bicol's flagship commodity, and the region accounts for 80% of the Philippines' output volume. The bark itself rakes in the money. The Pili tree sap, known around the world as the Manila Elemi, is a steeply prized raw material used in massage oils and luxury perfumes and fused with its fresh, zesty scent. Good business does not end there. The pili tree also produces fruit that contains a kernel precious to the Philippine foodscape. The pili nut. Why is it quite precious? For one, pili is really a tough nut to crack. Really. Cracking the pili nut is so peculiar that the process has its own local name, pagtilan. One by one, the hard bony shell is cracked by hand using a bolo and a wooden board. No machine has ever successfully duplicated the precision and lightness of Bicolano hands, which has practiced the tradition of pagtilan for centuries. It is almost eligible for an urban legend, yet Pagtilad is an experiential eye-catcher in the industry of pilinat processing. An expert in Pagtilad can easily deshell some 100 kilos of pilinat in a day's work. This unique human element in the processing of the pili makes it not very expensive, but the kernel is very rich in minerals, especially calcium, potassium, and phosphorus. It is a great source of protein and fat. Scientific research in the Philippines and abroad proves that the pili has far better nutritional content compared to other nuts in the market today. It is soft yet crisp with an easy crunch that surprisingly melts in your mouth, making it a favorite snack food among Filipinos. The same acceptance is true even in other countries that have already obtained the nut as an important staple. Ryan De Terra, manager of the Tia Berlin Billy brand, recalls the warm reception. We had market reconnaissance in the U.S. Then we had a market survey there. It was good to get the U.S. market to Billy. So, so far, the crispy Billy is the taste of foreign, even the Filipino. 
Indeed, food businesses centered on the Pilinan are quite foolproof and stable. For one, the house of Albay Pilinan has been at it since 1936. It started 1936. Sa grandfather ko, from Spain, yung recipe ng mom niya na ginamit ng mom niya sa imported nuts. So, he tried the local nuts na kita niya na mas masarap. So, nag-try siya ng iba't ibang klase ng pili nuts. So, mami ko naman, nagdagdag siya ng ibang varieties. Ako naman, sa packaging. Doon naman ako nag-concentrate. Better packaging has helped the pili nut in its bid for the international market. Not only for aesthetic improvement, but also for preservative qualities. It used to be that the pili nut could not survive long trips for export because of its short shelf life, two months, even less. Today, nitrogen flushing technology has enabled companies to prolong its shelf life to more than a year and finally sell the nut abroad. This here is a nitrogen flushing machine within the J. Emanuel Pili Processing House, one of the larger Pili-based production centers in Bicol. Even then, Pili Processing is still a household industry, with humble homes serving as headquarters for Pili product assembly lines. The best thing about Pili Nuts is that there is always room for innovation. The COP brand of Pili products has been winning awards precisely for these inventive novelties, revolutionizing the landscape of Philippine Pili sweets by introducing cosmopolitan recipes, some inspired by European pastries. What we are making is uh, what we call the not traditional Pili sweets and pastries. Ang pinaka pinagumpisahan namin produkto yung chewy pili caramel. Through the help of uh, the consultant from DTI, na advise ang kami na brand namin. So there goes the rhapsody. We develop another product na hindi lang yung matamis. We introduce yung chili garlic, salt and pepper, sea salt. Kasi ang pili as a romat, it's a very expensive nut. So sabi namin, why waste it? Kapag sabi nga eh, uh, biyaya ng Diyos nandito sa atin, gamitin natin tama. So that's what we're doing. Bicol and the Philippines is now geared and ready to introduce a pili nut to a wider audience. The nut itself lends its tasty crunch to a variety of recipes, cakes, cookies, pastas, and salads. The legendary pili shell, once used only as fuel, is now creatively crafted into home decor and nature-themed fashion accessories. Pili oil and elemi oil are all the rage in spas and aromatherapy sessions. Pili is so versatile, it has earned its own national brand, chosen pili a play in words for pili in Filipino lingua franca means to choose and pili means chosen. Chosen pili is exclusively exported by the Philippines. Its market steadily grows reaching places around the world, China and Hong Kong, the Middle East, Germany, France, Great Britain and the United States. With its rebirth, it is ready to take the rest of the world by storm. In a nutshell, Billy is no less than perfect. <laughs>